Among the stories of unexplained mysteries and UFO encounters, there are tales that captivate our imagination and challenge our understanding of the world. One such enigma unfolded on one summer day in 1947, off the shores of Maury Island near Tacoma, Washington, which was the backdrop for an incident that would be one of the most baffling and controversial UFO events in history, the Maury Island Incident. There are so many layers of the Maury Island Incident that it's easy to get lost into some other related subject. They had eyewitness testimonies, researchers, interviews, archival footage. They have physical evidence and yet cannot unravel the mysteries surrounding this captivating chapter in UFO history. Given the time of the events, I do have some thoughts on this strange incident. We may have enough evidence and information to come to a conclusion about what happened. That doesn't mean it would be the truth, which is not an uncommon consequence to unveiling the unexplained. The story begins on June 21st, 1947, when Harold Dahl, a local harbor patrolman, set sail with his son on a routine trip to collect logs off the coast of Maury Island. Little did they know that what awaited them that day would forever alter their lives. As they navigated the tranquil waters, they witnessed a squadron of unidentified flying objects. Described as donut-shaped metallic disc hovering in the sky above them. Suddenly, one of the objects malfunctioned, raining down a shower of metallic debris and molten slag onto their boat, injuring Dahl's son and killing their dog. News of the incident quickly spread, capturing the attention of none other than legendary pilot and UFO investigator Kenneth Arnold, who had recently made headlines with his own sighting of flying saucers. Arnold met with Dahl and listened intently as he told him of the encounter. But the mystery deepened when Dahl received a visit from a man in a dark suit, warning him to keep silent about what he had witnessed, threatening dire consequences if he did not comply, which to me sounds like the M.O. of the men in black, but normally they come in twos. Now, as the rumors and skepticism grew, the Maury Island incident attracted the attention of government agencies, including the FBI and Army Intelligence. The case took an unexpected turn when two Air Force officers, Captain William Davidson and Lieutenant Frank Brown, arrived to investigate. However, tragedy struck once again when their plane mysteriously crashed a B-52 bomber, by the way, killing both officers and raising suspicions of foul play. So let me just give you a timeline of events here for the year of 1947. On June 21st, 1947, Tacoma resident Harold Dahl and his son allegedly sighted six flying discs near Vashon, Maury Island, an event now commonly known as the Maury Island Incident. And on June 22, 1947, Mr. Dahl alleges he was warned not to talk about what he saw by a man dressed in a black suit. And on June 24, 1947, pilot Kenneth Arnold alleges he saw nine 
unidentified flying objects near Mount Rainier. And these controversial sightings helped launch a pop culture phenomenon of UFO sightings across the United States during the summer of 1947, which became known as the Summer of the Saucers. On August 8th, 1947, two weeks after the Washington sightings, a UFO is alleged to have crashed outside Roswell, New Mexico. And this alleged crash has since become the most well-known alleged UFO incident in history. On August 1st, 1947, Army Air Corps intelligence officers Captain William L. Davidson and First Lieutenant Frank M. Brown, who interviewed Harold Dahl about his sighting, lost their lives when the B-52 bomber they were piloting crashed outside of Kelso, Washington. And following the tragic deaths of Davidson and Brown, Harold Dahl publicly claimed his sighting at Maury Island was a hoax. Special agents of the Federal Bureau of Investigation conducted an investigation of the deaths of Davidson and Brown and ultimately concluded that Dahl did not recant his story but that his claim of hoax was itself a fabrication to avoid further public attention and ridicule. And the FBI's conclusions and Dahl's secret were sealed for 50 years. Now the reason the B-52 bomber crash is significant to the sighting of the UFO is because it is said that the pilots were carrying cargo, of which there was a sample of metallic material that was dumped by one of the UFOs during the incident. The material the UFO had dumped to keep itself from crashing because after the UFO dumped the material, it began to stabilize. Now, the Summer of Saucers is a notable period in the history of UFO sightings and the emergence of the modern UFO phenomenon. During this time, a series of high-profile UFO sightings captured the attention of the public and sparked widespread interest and speculation about extraterrestrial visitation. One of the most famous incidents that occurred during the Summer of Saucers was the Kenneth Arnold sighting. Arnold described the motion of the UFOs as like a saucer skipping on water, which led to the popularization of the term flying saucer. This was a sighting that gained significant media coverage and set the stage for the wave of UFO sightings that followed it up until today. Shortly after the Kenneth Arnold sighting, there was the Roswell incident, and William Mack Brazel discovered debris scattered across his property. The debris was later identified as remnants of a weather balloon by the U.S. Army Air Forces. However, initial reports suggesting the recovery of a flying disc fueled speculations of a crashed extraterrestrial spacecraft, giving rise to the enduring Roswell UFO incident and conspiracy theories. In addition to these high-profile cases, there was a surge in UFO sightings reported across the U.S. and around the world during the summer of 1947. Numerous witnesses claimed to have observed disc-shaped objects maneuvering in the sky, displaying extraordinary speeds and capabilities beyond the capabilities of any known craft at that time. The wave of sightings led to the increase in interest in the possibility of alien life on other planets. This marked a turning point in the study of UFOs. It prompted the U.S. government to launch investigations such as Project Sign, later renamed Project Grudge and Project Blue Book, aimed at assessing the nature and origin of the reported phenomena. These investigations played a role in shaping public perception of UFOs and establishing the framework for government involvement 
and research into UFO phenomena. This is almost what happened this year with the Chinese balloon and the shooting down of objects in the sky. Not to mention the talk about the Navy and UFO disclosure. I'm sure back then they were waiting on an alien invasion just like we are. Although many sightings from the summer of saucers were ultimately explained and as misidentifications, hoaxes, other natural phenomena, the events of that summer laid the foundation for what we have today. I don't know. Two years after World War II, I can't help but to think that either those craft were experimental military craft or saucers, or maybe it was just fallen angels trying to pass down or throw down some forbidden tech. Either way, it's interesting to see where this culture and ideas of aliens and UFOs stems from. That's all for now, folks. There is more to come very soon. Be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com and consider becoming a Level 1 member for exclusive content. Woodward TV is available on Rumble. You can also follow me on Instagram at J-A-E Woodward. We're going to keep this moving. I have a lot of content to put out and get to you guys So everyone have a great day, and until next time, friends, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.